very rapidly. But originally, I figured, I guess I'm, I was, so I'm fairly critical of a lot of things very well. You know, you don't want things to coming up in terms of like digital footprinting. Because that's exactly what you know what you were saying. Like, I don't want, for instance, to be applying for this for a job in the international organization. Someone Google's my name, pops in this this article when I'm completely bashing the World Bank for terribly for a terrible program. That I like the World Bank, by the way. I think it's a really good institution. Uh, I'm not applying for a job. Um, but I think that, I think they have really good people. And but they do a lot of mistakes. Right? They they are notorious for messing up and for like being well, kind of getting stuck on an idea and keeping going with it. So you so it's just that simple. You know, so you don't want that kind of stuff to come up when someone's giving you for a job or something. Um, but then, in, you know, when I rapidly shifted to start with basic online activism, uh, it became even more, even more important to be, well, at least rather anonymous because, uh, well, you know, developing, well, dictatorships aren't very keen um, on, in, on people uh, criticizing them, and they probably have a few people on their staff who can read. Uh, so, uh, probably. So, uh, <laughs> So yes, that I mean, bloggers have been bloggers have, have, have run into trouble for things they've written, and I figured, well, that's you know, there's no point in exposing yourself to that kind of risk. So I actually went back and tried to like remove some of the things that were more personal, that, that were harmless, but were kind of linking you to who you are. You know, school graduation, you're talking about grad or something. Um, so I tried to clean it up a little bit and try to keep it to uh, to news and events without necessarily uh, without necessarily being public. Um, the whole being public came, well, came transitionally, I guess, for a while, because once you start linking online activism with offline activism, you actually are on the street and meeting people. Um, so it started with, with that community of, of activists who are online but also are offline, and you start knowing each other personally and, and socially because you, know, you become friends. Um, but, then, but then, yeah, but again, after, after, the, uh, after the revolution, I figured, you know, basically, we're either in too deep, <laughs> or it's like we're either in too deep. There's no way in being being very secretive anyway. Or and that's what we were, that's what we were hoping for. Is that you know it's like no, hopefully things will be better from now on. Like and, you know you can be very critical of the government or whatever it is that you want to be critical of without necessarily running into trouble. Do you think that's now sorry. that there will be bloggers coming now with anonymous names? Oh, uh, definitely, uh, definitely. There Even will be after. Before. The revolution already is. A I, I'm 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 pretty sure there will be there will be people who, who what? still why um I don't know I'm, here, I'm pretty sure that there are, look the whole okay I mean talk a lot talk a lot about about breaking the fear barrier I'm sure you've heard that word a lot when you're talking about protests especially in North Africa talk about breaking the fear barrier people are no longer afraid and that's generally true um probably doesn't apply to everybody okay? I mean I mean I completely understand that there are people who still be worried. Um, and I will respect their choice to be to be anonymous, and you know, <coughs> we'll, I'll deal with them whether their name is Ahmed Abdel Taweb or you know Blueberry A two four zero. They will still you know will still read them as like, the way they read us when we were anonymous. So I think that's fine. But if you would do a, a blogging, I mean, I know that you've chosen to have your name all the time. Have you ever thought about doing it again or doing another blog that it's anonymous? 